Hi, my name is Mopis Martis and I work at Center Data. For the sales project, we developed the Survey Codings platform. When we enter the surveycodings.org website, you will see the service logo and several menu items uh, that will guide you through this website. The website consists of uh, several menu items. You have first your overview, next your education, then there's a tab sheet on socio-economic status, occupation, industry, social networks and survey implementation. Uh, on this overview page you also see an about us, which background information on the project. We see the overview. Here you uh, get the chance to get uh, to see more information on the surveycodings.org uh, website background. Um, there's the explanation of the harmonized coding concept. We have a question module. This is an example questionnaire that you could uh, visit and see the uh, tools in action. If you click on the module demo, it will open a new page and it will give you the example questionnaire. So, for example, here we can say we want to see this in Dutch. The questionnaire will be in Dutch. If you go back and change it to another language, say uh, French, the French questionnaire will open. Um, go back to Dutch. Um, it asks you where you live. Let's say we live in uh, Belize. When you were born. What is your gender? If you have a paid job, the job. Next. Are you an employee? Yes. Permanent contract? Yes. Are you a student? No. And what sector do you work? And this is one of the tools that you uh, see in action later. Uh, so let's say we were in the shoe making industry. Um, I typed in she and um, one of the results is the leather shoe and industry. If I select that, I can continue and f uh, finish the questionnaire. We'll go into a database live search, which helps you show uh, what uh, coded uh, indicators we have. So if you click here and go to, um, let's say, France. And we can type in uh, something with auto. It will give you a nice list of industries related to anything that has auto, automobile mainly, also auto routes. We can then click on one of these uh, industries and get some background information on that industry. You see that it has maintenance and repair of motorcycles as the original. Um, industry and that this French one is the French translation of this. We also see what classifications are attached to these and we could actually also move in and see the background database information of this which is similar and with the proper rights you will be able to manage this as well. Then if we go to downloads for the industry part we can download this list for uh, your own purposes, so if you want to reuse or somehow implement it in your own questionnaire that this would be the place to get that list but for, for more information on how to implement it you could go to the last tab sheet um, there you will see uh, examples an explanation for how this would work for web surveys so it's uh, all based on, on uh, JSON and uh, you make an API call uh, it's an in-depth explanation of how you could do this, but we don't want to go into that level of detail now. Uh, also for other modes, there's some guidance in how to implement it for the KP environment, or even for paper and pencil interviewing, there's some pointers on how to reuse it. You could, for example, use the uh, app for this, so use your app as a site to the paper questionnaire. 
that would be one way to go. Okay, if we go to another part, let's say occupation. The occupation um, set is a large list of many languages. So you see a drop down here. It gives you all the languages we have. And if we select one of Venezuela, you'll see that the autocomplete has a bus car, which means that you have to type it in Spanish, I think. <coughs> and if I type in all, I get Politico, which is the thing right now in Venezuela relevant. And again, the classification for this uh, job title is there. We also have tree view, which is generated by the system. We could see a multi-level interface. Again, downloads are available, so we can download the database of occupations. Uh, there's some more information on further reading. Okay. For education, the list of uh, menu items is a bit longer. We can have a question module, which is an example of how the questions are asked. And we have links here in several languages of how the questionnaire for only measuring education is stored. So if you go to English, oh, put up a document. In Word, it will open up the questionnaire description for the Comcast project is the way they ask it. So it's first this question at its end, then some explanation on the questionnaire containing the routing and conditions, and it will describe you how to use the Comcast measurements. Um, then we have a demo questionnaire here, which is an online a demonstration of how to uh, measure education. So we have uh, four example languages, the French. The nice thing here is that we can say, oh, I did my studies in French. I'm going to look for this, um, let's say, bachelor, professional bachelor. But I would also say, well, I did it not do it in French. I did it in another language, uh, other locale. And um, let's be paper, which is Dutch, <coughs> and I type in my bachelor degree. And this is then the Dutch version of the study I did. So it will help you, um, even if you did studies abroad or uh, if you uh, did, did your course in another language, uh, that help you find uh, your exact uh, schooling system. Uh, do that. Again, we have a database live search for this, which helps you find what uh, items are in there. Here, the uh, tree view is also very helpful. Again more information, you can do the live database for more background information on this. Okay, in the app you can select your country or language, so let's go to say Austria German. It will download your lists and at this stage it takes a while. Yeah, uh, as you load, you will see uh, th th that uh, icons will become available. We already loaded the education part, the industry part, and now also the occupation part is downloaded. Um, we can select one of these options. So, the occupation part. And again, like on the website, we could say, um, well, manager. And we'll have a set of managers and some others that also match the men. So, Kino Manager, we can view the coding, it will pop up some background information. And we also see the tree view on this. And it helps you determine 
in the app. What code is attached to this? And then you could copy this over to your paper and pencil saying 9510. You go to education, say we are a bachelor in the university, and we can view that code with some background information on several classifications. Uh, how that should be coded. If you deter, decide that you want a different environment, you should load in the list again, which will instantly update. And now we have the Belgium Dutch. And with this easy, convenient app, you can do your coding on the spot while doing interview in paper and pencil mode.